Hey guys, Ben Pearson, the Roaster Tracker, and we are going a little bit less green than we have been. Uh, we're actually going to burn fields. We've been doing solar and wind, and that's the vast majority of the power that we're using right now, but we're actually gonna start burning fuels, but it's gonna be hydrogen. So there's that. Um, hydrogen is a pretty good choice of fuels to burn in terms of its efficiency and whatnot. So yeah, but we really just need to burn some excess because we have too much. Right here. We could use some coal and convert this and do stuff, but yeah. We still have more oil. Uh, let's um, let's do this thing over here. We have a fair bit of space over here. Not mini fusion. We want thermal. I'm gonna put thermals on either side. And then we want a wireless transmitter that's going to be maybe here so we can get the range that we need to. Oh yeah, we need to feed in. So then we're going to just try to make a small blueprint. goes just to scooch too far. So control C, let's see, right there. Control V, perfect. Okay, hopefully that will be enough to burn off our excess energy. I mean, it turns out that we have plenty of energy at the moment, but we could do some things. What does it take to make fractionators? Or particle accelerators or whatever. Miniature particle collider. So we would need the Dyson frames, which we don't have. The fractionator... Um, these are the conveyor belt ones. We could make some of these. But still, I think this is gonna do fine. The key thing is, is that we're burning off some of our excess here. Oh. We need a few more machines, that's fine. I'm actually gonna put twice as many of these. We'll space them apart just in case. It would make any kind of a difference whatsoever. As soon as we have the power plants, these should all be active, okay. Let's go pick up some more of our plants. Woo! Not quite. These towers are getting tall. Oh boy, they're tall. Can I stop? No, we are still researching. Why is it so slow, I wonder? Put everything down, my pretties. So these are actually a decent amount of power that's being produced, and it's basically completely free. In fact, it is completely free because oil is completely free. 
and we're just taking waste products so yeah that's cool very cool uh what is next okay so the hydrogen is actually going down and that's a good thing I think we're actually getting to have more oil than anything. Okay. This is fine. This is acceptable. Good. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, that's not that surprising. All right. Next up. We want to start making these frames. That's going to be fun. So four carbon nanotubes, one silicon, and some of the titanium alloy. So let's start with the titanium alloy. Do we have any surplus of it? Uh, we make it over here, right? Why is this taking so long? I guess it's just a lot of hashes. This is titanium crystal, which is not alloy. Just looking to see how plastic... We are eating most of this up. Um... We really should probably proliferate. You have reached the ability to warp. This. When you're out of the planetary gravitational range. You can use the caps lock key to turn on the warp. Each time you turn it on, it will consume a great amount of energy and an additional space warper. If you want to travel freely between the stars, you need to prepare sufficient energy and space warpers. Okay, we can now go to the stars. Woohoo! Now we would need space warpers, which are not going to be an easy thing for us to get at the moment. They will become much easier and we could make a few. We only really need a few though. And do we have to, we have to proliferate the water? Yep. Fine, we'll proliferate water. It's more for the plastic than anything, but that will allow us to make these organic crystals a little bit better. Even though we don't, we're not too worried, but our, our alloy stay on target. Okay, not here. What about this one? Nope. Let's follow the titanium alloy for a sec. Because I know it comes in here. I've forgotten where we make it though. not the stuff. Bells. Hmm. Engines. We've got proliferator. 
This is the stuff. Where do you come f Okay, we are making some of this. So... Let's just start splitting here. Why not? Mm, I don't think we're ever going to need so much of this stuff that we're going to panic. Okay, let's go down. Uh, this is fine. So we need solar sail too. Now we have tons of solar sails over here. Um, just trying to think what the best way is. Let's just go ahead and build a planet. Transport. Planetary logistics station. They're pretty free. Okay, we can get rid of you. Okay, we want proliferator. Do we want to start making this level of proliferate? I mean, it's carbon nanotubes. It's 25% extra though. It's only a little bit extra, but it can be used way more. Hmm. It's only a little bit extra though. It does make things produced faster. Yeah, let's we'll stick with this one what we've got for now. We're just gonna stick with our 400 demand. And then we're also gonna request uh, carbon nanotubes. That will request a little bit more. And we want to request the sales. And we're not producing those anywhere. And then the frame material will go back in. We actually don't want the sails, we want silicon here. And we don't want a lot. A thousand's more than enough. We'll probably need 2,000 of these. It's pretty considerable. So that will make frame material. And then the Dyson Sphere component we'll do elsewhere. Uh, yeah, we'll max out the supply. That's fine. So let's start with the proliferator. And then... Hmm, let's just paint right here. We're gonna set all of our belts coming ac across here. So I'm going to back this out, actually. Okay. And then proliferate, proliferate, proliferate. One, two, three.
go like so. All right. Then I want the carbon nanotubes to come out here. One more across. And then you are going to be the silicon. How long did these components take? Six seconds. I should switch these two. Not going to be too worried about it for now, but um, it's good practice. Okay, they're all lined up now at the same length. So then we need the sail away with me. Unlock upgrade to make solar sails last two hours. Wow. That's actually a long time. Okay. So one, two, and three. One, two, three. Then we're going to output going the opposite direction. Except for we don't want it extended quite this far. I'm trying to maintain the same distance. Control C. Two. Four, six, eight, and guess that's as far as we're gonna go for now. Still, this will be a good start on our Dyson Swarm Sphere. Wanted to say swarm, I keep wanting to do that, but sphere is the true term because this is going to be a hard body. That's the difference between a swarm and a sphere. A swarm is a bunch of small components. But you've got to have some lifetime with those, and um, you know, we may as well proliferate these. What's next? We need <clears throat> to make the components, which are going to need solar sails, processors, and the frame material. And then we're going to have to launch these. Vertical launch silo. So we're going to have to build a carrier rocket. She needs quantum processors, which we... Those are hard. Requires quantum chips. Okay, wave function interference. Yeah, and then we can do vertical launch silos finally. So we're still a ways away from really being there, but we're we're getting somewhere. Um, new assembly machine? Sure, 
why not? Quantum chemical plants, so upgraded chem plants. I don't think I... Well, gravity matrix actually would be good for warpers. Okay. It's a much more efficient system to getting the warpers working. All right. Um, I think that's where we're going to leave this off. Let's limit this to a thousand, say. Just trying to get a little trickle going so that way I want the Dyson Sphere. Offer my solar cell memory. Um. Hmm. I don't think we care. We're still getting a bunch. Oh, we have some solar cells. Oh, this is the life distribution. You see how much life they all have. But we're 100% satisfaction and the power is increasing. So this is the swarm. And then how do you switch to the sphere? Can't design the sphere yet, I guess. That probably happens when we get the vertical rockets. All right, let's take a look at our star map as well. Let's look at close by stars. There's a lot of silicon, fire ice, sulfuric acid ocean, kimberlite ore does something cool too. What does it do? What does Kimberlite Ore do? Mm. Um. Yeah, I, is it this? I don't remember. So fire ice will lead to graphene and kimberlite ore I think is for diamonds. Yeah, kimberlite ore will be melted to diamonds. So that's cool. What else do we got? So this is actually a very, very tempting system. And it's not very far away. That's Kimberlite Orb, but isn't spectacular otherwise. Um, Fire Ice and Kimberlite Ore. If we don't, these are too far. So really, I mean, this is such a good system. Sulfuric Acid Ocean. So, we have plenty of fire eyes, plenty of kimberlite ore. Let's view this. So, it's an ice giant. So, we need to bring in our uh, fuel miners things. Volcanic ash. That has the sulfuric acid. This has collectible fire, ice, and hydrogen. You have fire ice that's actually mineable. So, I mean, this is the planet to go to, though. 
100% wind area. Wow. Wow, that's such a good planet. Now, it's not going to make it easy to get the super, super advanced stuff, but... Carbon, I mean... What else is there? Does it have titanium too? We silicon? Titanium ore, silicon ore, enough iron and copper that we could do. This could set up a stone. Not much coal, but that is okay. Yeah. Um, that's what we're gonna do. So, what we need to do then is we need to make some warp cores which are gonna come from these gravitational lenses. So we need a little bit of diamond. We have some leftover diamond. And then is it purple bells? For the gravitational? It's green. Of course it's green. Uh, greens, we do have some. What's your... Uh, there's not a lot left, I think is what that's saying. Tubes. We've got pink dumbbells, and we need strange matter. No, we don't have any strange matter yet at all. But we have deuterium, so we can do this. Well, we have it fairly easy. We have easy access to it. Let's put it like that. Um, just looking for some space. So you're going here, around there. This is where you end. Okay, so let's take you up. So let's just keep going. What's this? Oh, those are the energized uh, accumulators. There we go. So let's see. Let's go to there. And then we need... We have lots of planetary logistics stations, but we need an interplanetary one. Let's 
tilt this and maybe we'll have enough space. I'm actually amazed at how much density we're getting from this, but this is fine. Um, interstellar. It fits good. Let's get you your ships. So you're going to request Dudarium. And you're going to need power because you're going to have to go to our gas giant friend to do so. There you go. What other component did we need for this iron? Really? Iron, huh? That's it. Well, um, <laughs> okay, let's just use this one. We obviously haven't been using this much, so. Copy, oh. Um, iron. Copy, paste, paste. And then we'll feed you down here. Honestly, this may be as much iron as we can really support from this. But let's bring you more like this. And then over like this. Now we just need to paint this stuff. Um, why not? Let's just proliferate. It's going to be a real pain when we upgrade. 200 demand. Go. Go get it. Okay, once it comes out the outside, well, we can go ahead and do this. <clears throat> now everything is all lovely painted, and then we'll put two of these machines. Obviously we're going to have to kill some more wind turbines, but that's never been a problem. Not particle containers, we need strange matter, which is the green? Wait a sec. Particle colliders. Ah, what do we need for a particle collider? Miniature Particle Collider. 
Oh boy. That's a lot of things. Uh, total power generation of one gigawatt. Wow. Okay, so next time we're going to make particle colliders. So we can make our strange matter. And then we're going to uh, keep working on our attempts to get out of this system. Thanks guys for everything. Until next time people are tracking. Take care. We will see you then. Bye bye.